Hi friends, my name is Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about The English Patient by Michael Ondaatje. So Michael Ondaatje is one of my favorite Canadian authors and I say Canadian authors because he seems to embrace this identity. On one of my earlier Michael Ondaatje videos, I consistently get probably people from Sri Lanka angrily claiming Michael Ondaatje. So he's an officer of the Order of Canada. It's a thing. Like, his work is recognized as Canadian work. He's considered one of the greatest authors living in Canada today. And so I think to start with, I want to talk a little bit about what it means to be Canadian, because he is like a hyphenated Sri Lankan Canadian or Canadian Sri Lankan. When you live here, you are Canadian. Just because you weren't born here doesn't mean you're not Canadian. And if you're producing things that think about what it means to be a Canadian, what it means to be an immigrant in Canada, that cultural production is part of your experience of living in Canada. Um, so I'm thinking specifically of In the Skin of a Lion by Michael Ondaatje, which is one of my favorite pieces of Canadian literature. At its core, it is thinking about Canadianness. I feel like to not recognize the Canadian part of the author's identity sort of goes against what it means to be a Canadian in many ways. Uh, and Canadianness is complicated. It's one of the reasons that I have issues with the Canadian A series that I started back on my channel at the very beginning of my channel. And I do want to make a video talking about that and thinking through Canadian identity. But I think it's just a comment that I get a lot. Uh, angry people, presumably from Sri Lanka, who uh, want to, who seem offended that I consider Michael Andache part of Canadian cultural production. And I feel like, like, how could I not when he produces things that think about what it means to be a Canadian. That aside, uh, this, The English Patient, picks up on some of the characters that we meet in In the Skin of a Lion. So Hannah is now a young woman. She is a Canadian army nurse, and she is in a villa taking care of patients in a villa that has been co-opted and turned into a hospital during the Italian campaign during World War II. We also see Caravaggio. Caravaggio was a thief in Canada, and we see his thief skills being used by the Allies because these skills are required to steal confidential Axis documents. Um, we also are introduced to two more important characters, a severely burned man with amnesia that is dubbed the English patient, and he is sort of the point around which the story turns. And then we also have Kip, who is an Indian Sikh British Army sapper bomb disposal human? I, I may have got his title wrong, but um, he disposes of bombs. He disposes of German bombs planted around the Italian countryside. These characters all sort of rotate around the English patient who is slowly telling stories of his past, and I can't really reveal any of these stories without spoiling the eventual reveal. What we are seeing throughout the stories is the, is Hannah, Kip, and Caravaggio's emotional reactions to the English patient's memory. And it's very much a story about human connection, which I appreciate, but it was also the internet comments on the novel being sensual. I felt like it was weirdly sexual. In my wrap-up, I talked about how if I could describe this novel in three words, it would be too much penis. It's a feeling that I can't shake, that there's just too much penis in The English Patient. My interest really is in the bringing together of four outside-of-nation humans 
in one place. So we have an Indian Sikh who is working for the British Army in Italy. That's Kip. We have Hannah who is a Canadian-born nurse in Italy. We have Caravaggio who is a Canadian immigrant working for the Canadian Army in Italy. And we have an English patient who can't remember his function in the war in Italy. And so all of these people are sort of outside of nation, outside of a clear national identity, and they've sort of come together in this this desert, and they're like grains of sand that have settled in this one place together in a very random way. Um, and what I find interesting is the the personal connections between these humans who on the surface are about as vastly like physically and personality wise different as possible who come together and connect and emote with one another. That's what I found more interesting than like the weird amount of penis. Like, and maybe it's just because I am a young woman and the amount of like sexual energy directed towards Hannah feels uncomfortable. Overall, the writing is beautiful. I feel like this would be a fascinating novel to pull apart with a book club. However, reading it for myself, by myself, I'm just left with this like lurking presence of penis and it sort of put me off the story. Like, beautiful Michael Ondaatje writing. If you haven't read Michael Ondaatje before and you are a fan of beautiful poetic prose, if you love non-linear stories, that definitely picked up on Mike. Um, if you love non-linear stories, um, I find a lot of his works are, uh, like you have a tableau, a story depicted in stained glass, and if I were to throw a rock through that window and shatter the stained glass story, the picture of the story, and you were to pick up pieces of the stained glass and sort of piece together the story from the chunks that you have, that is the experience of reading a Michael Ondaatje novel, um, especially in The Skin of a Lion, and it is a it's a beautiful unraveling experience. I would highly recommend Michael Ondaatje. There's a reason he's one of Canada's greatest living writers. I don't particularly enjoy this novel. So read in The Skin of a Lion, experience Michael Ondaatje's prose, fall in love with it, and then maybe check out The English Patient. But I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts on The English Patient in the comments down below. Have you read it? Do you like it? Also, if you are Canadian, let me know what does it mean to be Canadian to you? Because that is an interesting and complicated question that I am very interested in. Before we go, we have to thank my patrons. Thank you patrons for making videos like this and long form content possible. I really appreciate the work that you are enabling me to do. If you're interested in becoming a patron, links to that will be in the description box down below. Also, if you are not in a position to financially support the channel, but you have some free time, I believe I have successfully opened up the videos to viewer generated closed captioning. You have the time to generate some closed captions for my backlog of content. That is also a huge help and much appreciated and your support in making these videos accessible for everyone is much appreciated. So plenty of ways to help support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.